Hmm, good day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Legends of Andor. We're getting close to the end game now. We are playing Legend 2, Long Live the King, and we're in the final stretch. There's no more mon no more uh, event cards. We just have to complete the requirements, which is actually pretty difficult. We've got the herb is all the way up here. We've got to get that all the way to the castle. And we still have to kill this uh, fort, which has a strength of 40, because we're playing a four-player game. So there'd be quite a lot of stuff going on here. Right, so let's get straight into it. Except I've loaded up the wrong thing. I actually have to be a hot seat. Okay, I'm back. I had to reload the mod because I forgot to put it into hot seat mode. I'm in hot seat mode now. That was the situation. We've got to take out, we've got to somehow get this uh, herb all the way to the castle, which is right down here. And we also need to kill this level 40 uh, monster. Okay, so first things first, it's purple is in the sunrise box, so we go one. We need to take out this guy, because basically, next turn, we've got one, two, three, four monsters. These guys are going to go all the way up into the, into the castle. So four monsters are going to get into the castle next turn. So our plan is to kill this guy here and use his money to increase our strength and stuff and take this castle out next turn and get this thing, get that the herb next turn and complete the game next turn. And that'll give us, uh, we'll have two turns, I think, before we're overrun if we just take out this one guy. So that is the plan. Meanwhile, over here, we go one, two, and we can flip up our first rune. Now, we really want to get all three of these runes, if possible, because they are they allow us to use the black die, which is super strong. So that's two. Now, uh, this guy is going to use his ability... To flip over this rune stone. So this this ability allows you to flip over any token. So we've already flipped over this token here using that ability. We know that that's yellow. We know that he's picked up a blue and you only get the special black die if every rune stone you hold is different. So if we flip this over and it's not green, I think we're just going to skip it because we can pick this up on the way to the castle and pick that up on the way to the castle. So let's just flip this one over. Okay, so that's yellow. So that's the same as this one here, which means I don't really feel like I need to waste my time, waste his movement to picking it up because he's got to get all the way up there, preferably get to the mine first. And uh, this guy's also going to go one, two into this location. One, two. And that'd be that. Now, this is a hard one. We're basically, we want to take this guy out. He's strength six. We have strength six between us. So as long as we roll decently, we should be able to kill this guy as long as we don't roll really badly. I could spend an hour getting this guy to move up here, but I'm really tight for time, and I'm just going to risk fighting this guy just as is. So instead, I'm going to actually use four movement and move this guy one, two, three, four, and move him straight to the castle. And as he's at the castle, we can place the other peasant token that we picked up and now we should be safe from those war docks so if we kill this guy we kill this guy here this dude will get into the castle and these two guys will get into the castle and that'll give us one extra turn 
to uh, take out the the turret. So now we have to kill this guy. Hopefully it'll work. So next turn we go one hour for you and one hour for you for the double combat. Let's roll. Come on, high numbers, please. Beautiful, a six. And over here, high or low, please. Oh, double six. Well, can't get much better than that. So even if we sent this bloke, we would have only had one more point of damage because the highest this guy can roll is a seven. Well, that was pretty awesome. So we are six plus six, which equals 12. And then we're 12, 12 plus two plus four for the individual hero strengths, which is equal to a total of 18. Okay, so as long just don't roll doubles, that's all I ask. Okay, so he gets a five. Five plus six is eleven. That means we beat him by seven points, and this guy only needs six points to die. So perfect. Yoink. He's dead. We move up one. There's no more events. We just have to get to the end without losing now. So that guy is dead, and we get four gold for that. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, I forgot. I, I saw this when I made when I did the editing last time, but I forgot about it at the beginning of the video. Last turn, remember the dwarf killed a monster here where this ghost is, and I forgot to take his gold. So I'm going to take four gold from him. Like so. Nice. Okay, we're back to this guy. So we're going to ignore this one and pick up the the yellow icon here. So the quickest... you got to be careful with how you move in this game. For example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to get to 39. But just taking a different path, one, two three, four, five to get to the same spot. Now we have two water skins and we've got five hours left. So what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to go one, two, and then I'm going to flip my flask and get a, th a free movement. One, two. Because what we're trying to do now is get to 71. This guy is going to go one, two, and pick up a coin. Not that he really needs it, but uh, we may as well. One, two. It's now White's turn. He's going to go one down here to meet up with the, the uh, mage. Now that he's in the same space as the mage, he can do a trade action for free. So he's going to grab this, take the bird... Take the helmet and take all her money. And now it's still his turn. Well, I guess he can do it next turn, but I can do it this turn. I may as well do it this turn. I'll do it next turn just in case there's some issue with uh, transferring the items as a trade action. I'm pretty sure you can do multiple trade actions. They're free actions. So whatever, let's use it now. So I'm going to flip the bird and this gets unflipped at the end of the round. It allows me to trade with anyone in the game. So I'm going to take the helmet and give it to the dwarf. I'm also going to trade him some money. So let's go. We're going to keep five gold. So we're going to keep five gold and we're going to give him three gold or however much gold is left. So he has two, four, six, seven gold. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Takes him to 14. Perfect. 
Now, just to show you how the works, the Falcon, before or after standard action, a hero may use the Falcon once per day to exchange small items, gold or gems, with another hero, even if they're not in the same space. So it's basically like a trade, and it's a huge deal. It's a very, very good uh, ability. Anyway, back to purple. Purple is going to also start heading out. One, two. Now, I like to do incremental moves because it's just easier for my brain to keep a hold of it. Because sometimes if you do, like if you do a big move, so, say I move seven spots, you might get into this situation where you've got to wait turns for people. So it's, it's easier to move small amounts and then you, you can always move when it's your turn and you never waste time. Now, often it doesn't make a difference, but sometimes it makes a huge difference, especially when you're trying to all get into position to combat. Okay, so this guy's turn again. So he's going to go one, two, three. One, two, three to seven. And then he's going to use his other wine flask. Oh, that's a... Uh, I haven't got magic bags in this mod. I should probably do that. He's going to use his other wine, uh, wine flux to get one more space. And now that he is on the mine, he can trade strength points for one gold. So he's got two, four, six, seven, which takes him to 14. Okay, so this guy, he's got two hours left. But we want to get him into here. We do not have a uh, we do not have a flask. Now we could stop in here and hopefully there's something cool. Maybe there's something there that could help him. But if it's a monster or if it's a if it's a, if that is a monster, it could basically end the game because the monster would move down into here, which would bounce him all the way over to here. So I don't want to risk it. So I'm just going to go straight past that. So that's one, two, takes us to here. But I'm also going to go one, two, takes us to here. And we go negative two on this. So that's one, two, three, four. So basically you can power, you can go later in the day for negative two will. And the reason we want to get to 57 is because, lo and behold, you know, this guy's going to move into that spot next turn. Right, now we're back to the mage. He's going to go 1, 2, up to the witch. And he's got 5 gold which he's going to use to buy a witch's potion. And, but, oh, you know what I forgot to do? When I when I traded with the dwarf, I forgot to take his runestone. Let's not forget about that. <laughs> Doesn't make a huge difference because the dwarf should be able to get there in time. Okay, that's the end of his turn. So the Witch's Potion costs five gold, and then you can use it to double die results. Okay, Purple's turn is also going to do the same thing. So she's going to go one, two, three. One, two, three. And then into here for negative two. One, two. And that's the end of her turn. And now this guy is also going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that is minus four. But he then flips this thing, which gives him plus three. So he got two movement for one will, which is pretty good. So he just goes down one. And end that turn. Okay, so this guy is now passing. Why is this guy only on four? Did I do something wrong with him? So he was one, two, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven. He should be here. Because he went one, two, three, four into the castle. Then he went one out to here for five to trade. And then he went one, two to go to there. So yeah, he's at seven. So he's also going to go one, two, three, four. Yunk. Like that. And drop down. One, two. Oh, you can only do it once. That's really annoying. Still, that's what he's doing. Pass. 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 He's already passed. And pass. Okay, so that is the end of that. Now we just need to do the end events. So let's draw the next one. An unknown horror lurks in the Southern Forest. Place this card near space 24. If any heroes occupy spaces 22 to 25, each of those heroes lose four willpower. If several heroes occupy the same space, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so let's just get rid of that. We're going to stick down here. What is this? 24. And I'll just uh, get the star tokens. So it is 22 to 25. So 22, 23, 24, 25. So all these locations are marked. But we're not going to go anywhere near them, so it doesn't matter. Now we do the movement, starting with the gore. So the first gore is going to move in and go to the shield. So he's been cleansed. Okay, so that is 13, 16, 38. This guy moves down here with the herb. We go, that's 25, I believe. So he goes bam, he goes bam, he goes bam. Probably make sure I can see these numbers actually. And then we don't have any of these monsters. So now it is the cats. And remember the cats move twice. We've got no ogres, so they just move twice. So he moves here and then he goes one, two, three, bam. And now the second movement, remember you move from the lowest value first. So it's actually, that, so it's actually this one moves in. So that's bam, bam. So that's another one taken care of by the militia. We flip over the wells. And the market goes up one. And that's it. So now we need to complete, hopefully we can complete the entire game now, if we're lucky. This guy not being able to pump anything is pretty hard. So he's got to go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Okay, so Keelan can get to the combat. We need seven to get there, though. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so he can get... Keelan can get to the battle, but he can't get his water spirit there, which is a real bummer. So, yeah, I didn't actually play that too efficiently. This guy should have... You know what I should have done? I should have... Transferred the wine skin across. And then I could have used his... He could have used the wine skin to get into here without using any... Without any effort. That would give me an extra point of movement. And then I could have bought a wine skin here. I would have been like two gold, two strength less, but I think it would have made a difference. Anyway, whatever. That is the end of that turn, and I will see you guys next time.